in this lesson you will learn how to work with the dependencies in a planning board. This video is sponsored by the ALM Octane Rocket team of our R&D. In person, thanks to Ehud Mikkelsen for providing the content. So let's see how you can work with dependencies, especially when it comes to planning um, of releases and you want to implement different features during a release, um, how ELM Octane can help you to identify dependencies within a release. So let's go to the backlog module. Now I can go to the features tab to see all the features I have in my backlog module. And uh, basically I'm here on the backlog node, so I'm really uh, taking care about the whole backlog I have. And now uh, what I need to do is I need to switch to the board view. And for the board view, we have three options. First of all, you can look at the board, at the feature board from the workflow perspective, means from the different phases you have, new, in progress, in testing, and um, done. You have the iteration planning. This is needed when you are working within a release. Or you have the release planning where you would like to see how the features are dependent from each other across different releases. Huh? And I will show you this example based on the iteration planning. So currently, my iteration planning is empty because I've not selected any kind of release. So I need to select first a release here. And now I should be able to see the feature board. So what I usually do is I would like to see how the different teams are working on the different on the different um, backlog items and features. So I would like to group here by the different teams. So let's add a grouping by teams and go into full screen, which will help you to better view the backlog module. So I can see I have in total three teams and these three teams have different um, features they are working on for this special release. So I can see the different sprints they are on and um, what features are planned for the teams to deliver for the different iteration and sprints. What I can see on the feature boxes or feature cards directly here is a dependency icon. This tells me basically if a dependency on that specific feature exists or not. If it's a black dependency in black color, this is totally fine. If you identify that you have a dependency which is highlighted uh, with red, like here, here, or here, then you have a dependency inconsistency. So there are problematic dependencies detected which can cause an implementation delay. Let's see what does this mean. So I need to expand the teams. And now I will select the problematic dependencies which are detected. And I can click on the dependency map to see additional details. The concept of dependencies in the LM Octane can be compared to a flowing stream of water which needs to flow first through the high mountain before it gets to the valley. And basically this is what is happening here. Um, the dependencies are identified as problematic dependencies because they are defined as upstream dependencies but planned or not planned at all um, on the timeline. So we can see the invoices um, feature is an upstream dependency but it has not been planned yet for any iteration. While as here you can see, you have an additional icon for the dependency, which helps you to expand even further the dependency map in order to see the whole dependencies across the flowing stream. And this helps you really to plan your release more accurate and avoid any kind of implementation issues on the timeline uh, when you are planning your features and backlog items.
So basically, if you would like to um, copy this and want somebody or the product managers or product owners to check on this, you can just copy it by right clicking on this and paste it into an email in order to ask team members to verify and validate those dependencies. So you can really go ahead and copy it and paste it as part of your email and send it out to your team members in order to validate those. So this is a very easy way to manage dependencies through the dependency map, which helps you planning the different features for the according release implementation and helps you to plan the features more accurate on the release. So whenever you detect here um, highlighted or problematic dependency and you select it, Octane will show you or highlight only the problematic dependencies and features in order to uh, in order for you to better understand how the different dependencies are in relation to each other and what other teams are maybe involved in order to fix those dependencies. So let's see here one more thing. So as an upstream dependency, what you can also see here is you can define as well user stories or defects which might uh, be needed as a upstream dependencies for the current feature uh, to be implemented. Um, so those backlog items can be also part of the dependency um, and will be shown in the dependency map as well.